Finally, the NHL season is up and going. We're almost a week into the season. Obviously, my last video was my season predictions, and I know the channel has been a little bit inactive over the past month, but I really want to get back into uploading every single day. I've been missing it. I've just been really busy. But now as things start to calm down, the season starts to get into full swing. I've come up with a lot of new ideas and series I'm going to be doing throughout the season, so I hope you guys are excited. And if you guys have any suggestions on any type of video you want to see or any team you want to see me cover, let me know down in the comments section below but in today's video I'm gonna be talking about Austin Matthews because he has been an absolute tank so far in the Leafs first three games with the Leafs being probably my second favorite team in the NHL I have caught all three of their games so far this year and like I said Austin Matthews has just been an absolute problem and teams can't really shut him down just yet and I think that's a large part to them really trying to shut down that John Tavares and Marner line which causes a lot of problems but then when you match up your top defensive line against that line you still have Austin Matthews, Zach Hyman and Kasperi Kapanen to deal with. Kapanen was placed on that line last game and it was fantastic. I think that could be one of the games of the year that Chicago and Toronto game the dueling celebrations by Kane and Matthews It was just all around a very entertaining game Maybe not for hardcore Leafs fans and for Mike Babcock They probably would have liked to seen maybe a 3-0 4-0 shutout for the Maple Leafs But a 7-6 game nonetheless with the star power that was out there with guys like Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taves Who's also been on a tear to start the season That's a really nice thing to see from him as obviously he didn't really have the best year last year But that is a subject for another video and then obviously Matthews, Marner, John Tavares, and then you have Duncan Keith, Morgan Riley, goaltending, all that good stuff. And it really just made for an unbelievable game that probably will go down as top five games this season, just pure entertainment wise. Maybe not pure hockey because it wasn't really an old fashioned type of hockey game, hard hitting and stuff like that. There was just a lot of goals scored and that always makes for a really fun game to watch. So now enough rambling, let's take a look at Austin Matthews stats throughout the first three games of the season. Obviously, if you are a Leafs fan or you follow hockey heavily, you will know the stats and what Austin Matthews has been doing. But if you're just more of a casual fan, you don't really follow the Leafs and you're missing out because Austin Matthews has been showing that he can be one of the best players in the NHL. Opening night against the Montreal Canadiens, he has two goals, 17 minutes of time on ice. Obviously, he had the overtime winner. Then, in the loss against the Ottawa Senators, he still looked great with 20 minutes and 20 seconds of ice time, a goal and an assist for two points. And then against the Blackhawks, he was an absolute monster. And without him, they would not have won that game. 16 minutes and 53 seconds time on ice, two goals, two assists for four points. Obviously, the goal to give them the lead late. Then Patrick Kane tied it. And then it went to overtime where Matthews did pick up an assist on the Morgan. And Riley goal and to me Matthews is really showing that he still is the man on this team yeah all the coverage coming into the season was about John Tavares John Tavares is a leaf John Tavares is the best player on this team this is Tavares's team now I think Matthews has shut down all of that and this is still his team and he is the best player on this team and I think the rest of the league should take note now don't worry too too much or don't put all your focus on shutting down Tavares and Marner because if you do Austin Matthews is going to gut your lineup he's going to score a goal Goals. Obviously, he's shown he still has that lethal shot. His first goal of the year against Montreal was a snipe. His goal to give them the lead over the Blackhawks was an absolute snipe. He's just looked like a monster. The size, the skating, it seems like his skating has got a lot better. And obviously, he is a big guy. He's hard to knock off the puck. And I think he really could be a problem for a lot of teams in the NHL this season. And in my opinion, he could be in contention for her trophy if the Leafs are up there among the top teams in the league. Obviously, he's not going to keep up on the pace that he's at because because right now he's on pace for around 200 points or something. But I definitely think he is capable of reaching 95 to 100 points. And that's something I wouldn't have said before the season started. Watching Matthews throughout his career so far to me, he's a guy who I always thought would score around 45 goals and had like 37 or 40 assists or something like that. But now, after watching the all-around game that he's been putting on display throughout the first three games, I really do think he can be a 100-point player and be one of the best players in the NHL. Obviously, it still is early. It's only been three games, but he really has been showing us he is something special. I wouldn't say a generational talent, but most definitely a guy who doesn't come around very often. And Toronto Maple Leafs fans, you have a right to be excited about your team this year because it's very entertaining to watch. Obviously, the defense has been pretty spotty. The goaltending has been pretty spotty to start the season. But obviously, with a lot of teams, that is the case when the year starts. But that is all going to tighten up. 
and I'm not sure if teams are going to be able to shut down that Leafs power play, which has been exceptional as of late or to start the season. So all in all, a decent start to the year for the Leafs, but for Austin Matthews himself, an unbelievable start, and I don't really think Leafs fans could have asked for more out of Austin Matthews throughout the first three games of the season. So that is going to wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you let me know down in the comment section what do you think Austin Matthews is capable of this season? And give me a prediction on the Leafs and Austin Matthews and just everything Toronto Maple Leafs. I know this video was kind of really subjective to this one player and one team, but I promise throughout the season I'm going to be covering all teams, going to be doing weekly recaps. And I was thinking about recapping every Detroit Red Wings game, but I'm not really sure how many of you would want to see that. So any video suggestions at all if you liked what I just said about the weekly recaps and the Detroit Red Wings recaps, just let me know. Anything you guys want to see, feel free to leave Leave it down in the comment section below. I do read all the comments. Even though I don't respond to them all, they will get read. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content. And I will see you guys all in the next video.